Hi everyone and welcome back to the S&P Saga, your weekly recap of the S&P 500 index. The index ended last week up again and we'll shortly cover which companies benefited. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove the index performance, changes to the index and which companies will announce earnings next week. Small change this week, we're covering the top 10 winners and losers instead of the usual top 5. Let us know in the comment if this is a better insight or if we should just stick to the top 5 format. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into this week's review. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,738.17, up 0.6% from last week, adding 914 billion of market cap. The PE ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 29.94, up 0.17 points since last week. Let's move to your gainers. Nvidia is up 131.2 billion, or 4.6%, following a Bain technology report touting additional up opportunities for the company. Tesla up 70.8 billion or 9.3% as investors anticipate the robo-taxi day on October 10. Micron is up 18.4 billion or 18.2% on an upbeat forecast driven by its AI business. Meta is up 15.2 billion or 1.1% after announcing new VR headsets at a reduced price. AMD is up 13.6 billion or 5.4% on no specific news. Caterpillar up 10.7 billion or 6 percent on announced China stimulus measures. Applied materials is up 10.5 billion or 6.6 percent following added optimism in the semiconductor industry. Freeport McMoran is up 9.8 billion or 15.3 percent on announced China stimulus measures as well. Salesforce is up 9.5 billion or 3.7 percent as the company announced the purchase of startup Zoomin. Home Depot is up 9.4 billion or 2.4 percent on no specific news. Moving to your losers. Microsoft is down 53.9 billion or 1.7% following a rare analyst downgrade of the stock. Lilly is down 42.3 billion or 4.8% on no specific news. Amazon is down 37.9 billion or 1.9% on no specific news as well. Visa is down 18.8 billion or 3.3% following an antitrust case by the DOJ against the company. ServiceNow down 11.4 billion or 5.9% after one of their key US partners partners was raided by the FBI. Regeneron is down 11.4 billion or 9% as the company lost a legal attempt to block a competitor. Costco down 9.5 billion or 2.4% on missed quarterly revenue expectations for the upcoming quarter. Merck is down 8.8 billion or 3% as a late stage drug failed stage 3 trials. Amgen down 7.9 billion or 4.4% following underwhelming clinical trials. Intuit down 7.3 billion or 4 as the company rolled out an underwhelming set of AI features. This week, there was one change announced to the S&P 500 that will be effective on September 30th, 2024. Bath and Body Works up 1% over the past year, moving down to the S&P small cap 600 and will be replaced by Amentum Holdings as a result of a spin-off and merger from Jacob Solutions. Looking ahead to Q3 2024 earnings season, some companies have started to report. Seven members released results last week and 496 companies are now left to report earnings. Six S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending October 4th, 2024. And the most interesting will be Nike on October 1st. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our weekly updates. To find out why Meta and Apple were up last week, you should watch this video next.